Today I'll be giving a demonstration on how to properly sharpen an increment bore. An increment bore is a handheld device that is used to drill into both living and dead trees to collect a thin strip of wood we call a core. This allows you to collect a lifetime's worth of information from the tree without having to cut it down. It's made up of three parts, the handle, the auger with the threaded bit, and the extractor spoon. To put it together, you simply flip the latch on the handle, slide the auger in until it can't go any further, and flip the latch down. It is now ready to begin coring trees. Occasionally when you're coring a tree, you'll notice that it's becoming more difficult to bite, the wood is starting to shred, the cores themselves are twisted, or you start to get bits of wood stuck into the auger. When this happens, it's indicating that the auger, or yeah, the auger needs to be sharpened. Um, so if you do get bits of wood stuck in the auger, you want to make sure that you never ever use anything metal like a chaining pin or the extractor spoon to try and unstick the auger. You never want to have anything metal near the bit. Um, this will likely chip it and permanently damage it. So what you can use are wooden objects such as a golf tee, chopsticks, or wooden dowels that you can buy at art supply stores. And these can be used to push out the wood. When you are doing that, you want to make sure that you're wearing gloves because the tip is very sharp, so you can potentially cut yourself. If the wind dowels don't work um, to unstick your jammed board, then you can wait until you're back in the lab and put it in a drying oven at a lower temperature for maybe a couple days, and that will shrink the wood and make it easier to push out. Another way you can tell that you need to sharpen your increment board is if you take a stack of paper and make circular motion. If it doesn't cut a hole like this one did pretty easily, then it, you really need to sharpen it. So this one is good to go, so we're not going to worry about this one. I do have one here that does need to be sharpened. What you use to actually sharpen the increment bore is a increment bore sharpening kit um, that you can buy at most forestry supply stores. So it comes with honing solution, three sharpening stones, and a block to balance the increment bore or the stones. So you have your flat stone, your slightly tapered stone, and your conical stone. When sharpening, you want to make sure that the stones and the auger itself are balanced on the block. So whichever one, one is not being moved, you want to have that on the block. So in this case, it'll be the auger for the first stone. So I like to start with a slightly tapered stone. And you also want to make sure that all the stones you're using, you want to make sure that it's been dipped in the honing solution. So this one I had a little bit from earlier. And you never want to have a dry stone on the auger. And it's good to get the auger uh, lubricated as well with the honing solution. So starting with this tapered stone, this will sharpen the threads. So I like to start towards the end and you just make gentle movements towards yourself and then rotate it slightly and make sure you get both sides as well. So you just work your way along the thread until you get to the end. When you get to the end, you want to try and be your most careful um, because the very tip is the most delicate part of your border. So once that one's been used, you want to move on to the flat stone. So this one is actually going to be the one that is balanced on the block. The bore itself is moved. So, also this one tends to dry out more quickly than the other two, so you often have to reapply the honing solution. So 
So you balance your block at a maybe 45 degree angle and then line it up with the outside of the very tip of the bit. So the border you just move in half circular motions. And then rotate it so you get the entire outside. Really don't need to over sharpen it. Um, so unless there's a noticeable chip that you really have to work out a couple rotations should be good enough for each spot. And then finally you use your conical stone. This one you want to make sure that you don't put it all the way into the auger. You want to make sure that there's always a little bit of room on the sides. So you just make sure that it's the same angle as the auger and draw it out slightly. So I don't really see any chips in this one, so it's good to go. Most increment bores made after 1990 are advertised as never needing to be sharpened, but occasionally chips or wear and tear do happen if they're not cleaned as frequently as they should be, and you will need to sharpen your bore. So this is something that everybody who's using an increment bore should know how to do. Thank you for watching.